Okay, welcome back. Now we are looking at the second exercise. Given an integer array and an integer value v, the program must search if v is in the array of the integers. The program writes v is in the array or v is not in the array. So um, let's define uh, a variable v and yeah, we say v should be 9 just because. Okay. <coughs> we have to again traverse the array and we just look if we find the value and if we find the value v uh, then we have to somehow remember that we found the value so we need a another variable called be uh, found v and we will initialize it with false and then we traverse the array so for let i is equal to zero i uh, less than r nums length i plus plus we have to check uh, if the current number we are looking at is equal to the variable we search for v and if that's the case we say or oh, we found uh, v and we say found v is true and uh, after the loop we have to check if found we is true then we write line we is in the array like this otherwise we write line we is not in the array so let's try it out v is in the array so when we change v to 91 which is not in the array load file v is not in the array now <coughs> actually we are traversing we are iterating through the whole array even if we find the value of 9 here when we take a value of 76 we would find v like in the very first iteration of the loop but we will carry on until the end so this is unnecessary computation actually and we can avoid that by adding some constraints uh, actually here um, to the loop condition so we could just say we loop while i is less than uh, our nums at length and found we is false because as long as found we is false we can loop because we we didn't find the element yet but if we found the element then this condition the whole condition will be false and the loop will end at this point so this is just a performance thing so let's see 76 should be still in the array so v is in the array and 716 is not in the array so v is not in the array it still works it's just a little bit more performant because we added this uh, expression to the loop condition so that's it for the second exercise see you soon